Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad. This is my channel, Anna Orange, and this week in 3D Metal Model News. To get us started, big news this week. If you're Star Wars fans, you may already know this. If you're not a Star Wars fan, just hang on a moment. But, officially now, we have an announcement of four Mandalorian models coming soon. We had already teased, or had to tease at two of them, the Mandalorian and the Child, which is like the Baby Yoda in the little carriage. There was a image that popped up on Facebook from Innova Toys about the catalog and they just kind of subtly put that in there. But as of a few days ago, Innova Toys put up a pre-order for four different models followed shortly thereafter by a coming soon page update from Metal Earth of the same four new models. So we already know about the Mandalorian. We now know it's ICX 146, three sheets listed as challenging with a uh, size or finish size of 4.13, the width 4.75 and 7.4 of height translated into centimeters that's 10.49 by 11.99 by 18.8. You know I kind of went back and forth between Fascinations or Metal Earth and the Innova Toys. Innova Toys actually shows the Difficulty rating it doesn't say stars, but it's kind of like stars. It says 8 out of 10 difficulty rating on the Mandalorian model. So pretty difficult. I guess 8 out of 10 would put it right there with the uh, Hogwarts Castle, which I recently put together, which I don't I wouldn't even consider that Challenging I mean it was but it wasn't anyway review for that's coming out real soon moving on we have the child which we now know as ICX 210 two sheets Listed as moderate with a 5 out of 10 rating on Innova Toys. With finish size of 3.15 by 2.28 by 3.62 inches. Or 8 by 5.79 by 9.19 centimeters. And then moving on from that we also have... The Razor Crest, which I know a lot of people hoped, including myself, would be one of the models that we got. It is ICX217. This one's listed as 2.625 sheets. And I had to ask for clarification on that. And I got a pretty quick response, thankfully. It basically, that translates to 2 and 5 8 sheets. What's happened here, and you can kind of see this on the end of the toys, because they're showing... You notice so the pictures that I'm showing also shows the sheets. These are screenshots from Innova Toys. You're not going to find this on Metal Earth's pictures. They have the usual, well, some of the models have the usual two or three, four sides, and some don't yet. But Innova Toys has an interesting shot, and this shot of the Razor Crest includes the sheets. You can see, and it was clarified to me, that there's a half sheet, and there's a one-eighth sheet, which adds up to five-eighths. And then you have the two full size iconic size or premium size sheets. And this one is listed as challenging. Finish size of 5.51 by 3.62 by 3.07 inches or 14 by 9.2 by 7.8 centimeters. 7 out of 10 difficulty on that one. And IG11, which is the little, the uh, not so little, the tall, skinny, like, um, Bounty Hunter Droid, another one that a lot of people hoped would be part of the collection, and it is ICX 213, 3.25 sheets or three and a quarter sheets, challenging, eight out of ten stars on that one. The finish size is listed as 4.53 by 1.57 by 8.86 inches, or 11.5. <coughs> excuse me, 11.5 by four. By 22.5 centimeters and there you have it we now know there are four coming you can pre-order them on Innova Toys which is fairly new you don't normally see a pre-order I'm sure they'll be coming to other shops as well kind of going back I do find it interesting that Innova Toys pre previewed this before Metal Earth and apparently that was part of the marketing deal with Disney they wanted social media exposure first or something whatever and it's interesting that they're showing some details that the metal earth coming soon page is not like the sheets and whatnot which is really nice it's nice that they're seeing that showing that we can see it and i find it interesting i had not really noticed before some models not all of them but 
the Mandalorian models give like a something out of 10, 7 out of 10. The difficulty rating is kind of like stars. Kind of breaks it down where you don't normally see that on or ever see that on Metal Earth's website. Just a a kind of easy, moderate, challenging, expert kind of thing. And if you look at the scale by that on Innova Toys, it's colored like green to red, which is very similar to the scale on the back of some of the packaging. So this, the Hogwarts Express, I just happen to still have the packaging here, would be a 9 out of 10 according to that scale. So interesting. I did look at a couple of older models. I don't all have it, but some do. Moving on from that, not seeing anything new from Peace Cool this week, though on MU's website, I did see a couple of new models. We have what looks like festive uh, festival or parade floats. We have the, and I might not pronounce this correctly, but I'm going to try the Zoo, Zoo Haizai Float. Haizai Float? Zoo Haizai Float? Could be getting that wrong. I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments soon. It is stainless steel, two, looks like it's two, 250 by 190 millimeter sheets and one 62 and a half by 47 and a half millimeter sheets. 101 pieces, I believe, if I'm understanding the translation correctly. The finished size is 110 by 80, about 110 millimeters tall. In its five star difficulty, five out of what I'm not sure. And then we have the Peacock Loot Float, which has apparently two sheets that are 250 by 190 and a 62.5 by 47.5 sheet. This is 90 pieces, if I'm translating correctly. And finish size is 190 by 80 by 110, also five stars. And I did talk with online with the friend Garth, who oftentimes clarifies these Chinese models for me. He responds, they are, as you've probably gathered, floats. It comes from the Tang Dynasty. It happens in the Lantern Festival, and the two floats have a musical battle fight. And the winning float gets to go see the Saint Mystic type of person. I do believe these two models have come from a recent popular Chinese TV show loosely based around the above premise. You can IMDb, IMDb com the longest day in Chang An and it should pop up. And I haven't done that myself, but I thought I would share that. The first cart is Flower Float, the second is Peacock Float. Very interesting. Thanks, Garth, for sharing that. He kind of went on to say, you don't have to say all of this, but honestly, I, it, I feel like I need to. It's an interesting tiny piece of background behind those models, models if you're interested. they I should point out that these are showing up on the MU site. It doesn't specifically say coming soon, but from experience, it's kind of a coming soon. This is a model we've come out with, but it's, I'm not seeing it in stores yet. Probably will show up in the next couple of weeks for sale. But something to look out for and another colorful interesting cultural model and you seem to be doing a lot of that now people have asked what about transformers I haven't seen anything new from transformers maybe they've built that for now and they've just shifted their focus to these cultural models that they've been doing for lately and fine maybe they'll come back around to transformers who knows of course i looked around aliexpress at some of my favorite stores to see what new i can find and before i go on i do want to mention just a heads up, it looks like they're gearing up for an 11-11 sale or a global shopping festival. Probably their version of a pre-Black Friday thing or a Christ, you know Christmas shopping kickoff sort of sale. I'm not going to give any specifics from any store. Basically, if you know AliExpress and you have a store you like to shop from, go check it out and see what sales they have coming up. Might be a model you're looking for, you can get cheaper, but buyer beware as with anything buyer beware check around one store may seem to have a good deal on something but if you look around you may find another or one store may have something listed as a cheaper price but if you look into shipping in the end it may cost more from the cheaper looking store whereas they're going to charge shipping and a store that would charge more base price wouldn't charge shipping at all so buyer beware there seem to be quite a few deals out there for one thing i noticed I've mentioned the Halloween themed models. 
that I haven't gotten yet or I'd like to. I did notice a couple of stores look like they're going to put them on sale for 11 11 but Crazy Toys basically has that same price already right now. So look, shop around. But that's something coming up. If you want to check it out, find your favorite AliExpress store and see if there's something that's going to be cheap that you've been wanting to get. And speaking of crazy toys, I did find three unexpected models on both their AliExpress store and their own website. They have three Micro World models listed. And Micro World is one of those model companies that I have no idea way to find out what's coming before it just shows up for sale somewhere. But looks like there's a couple of Q version models. One's a Q version battleship. It's a cute little tub boat looking battleship thing. I think a finished size of 6.8 by 5 by 8 centimeters, 64 pieces, two 11 by 21 centimeter sheets, three out of 11 stars. And then we have the Q version tank, which is 9 by 6 by 6 centimeters, finished size 92 pieces, three sheets, three 11 by 21 centimeter sheets, and three of 11 stars as well. So fairly easy models. And then another is a Micro World Fighter Bomber. It doesn't say anything about Q Series on this one, but I may have missed it. I actually had to switch over the names I was able to get from the AliExpress Crazy Toy Store. But the Micro World Fighter Bomber, I had to go to the website store to get the name for that. It's weird how the information will be slightly different. But the Fighter Bomber is finished size of 10 by 14 by 5 centimeters. 65 pieces, two sheets, and three out of 11 stars. And they're just kind of little interesting, kind of chubby little models. I, I think they're pretty neat looking. I'd grab them and put them together if I didn't already have a stack of things to do and, you know, a bunch of stuff I'm already interested in. But definitely wanted to share that for you. And there'll be links to Crazy Toys website and their AliExpress store in the comments down below as well as a link to other things talked about, including the Innova Toys pre-order for the Mandalorian models with some more pictures and information in there as well. Now this brings us to the question or topic of the week portion of the weekly news video. And last week I was kind of talking about wish lists and giving the idea out of different places that you could use a wish list to put up models you don't have for friends and family. It's something that I plan on doing with limited success, but I can try. But I asked if anybody else has had experience with wish lists and how it worked out for them or suggestions or whatever they could add. Got a couple of comments here. One from Logan Springer. I only have 24 models, so I just send a picture of my collection to my family. Random idea for a Metal Earth model contest idea. I think they should have a con contestants, have all of the contestants send a picture of their Metal Earth collection to them. The winner would have the most creative, largest, most varied, etc. Just a random thought. Keep up the videos. Keep up the great videos. Thank you very much, Logan. I want to say that there have been instances in the past where Metal Earth has done something like that. And uh, I do know that one time they, they asked for a picture of your Star Wars collection. And uh, to be honest, I won that hands down. Because at the time, I was fairly still fairly new at making these videos. And I did have every one of the Star Wars models that Metal Earth had put out through normal channels. Plus I had the, at the time, three Disney exclusives. Because at the time they had the All Silver Rex. They had the Sand Cruiser, Luke's little Sand Speeder that's got like the kind of messed up looking uncovered engine on one side. And they had, it was a Disney ride, just basically like a shuttle. And I had built all three of those. And I also had the Mega R2-D2, which has never been officially sold. It's just kind of sold to retailers to put on as a display and occasionally finds its hand its way into the hands of the regular collector such as myself and I had all of these and they were like the most complete collection will win well I had the most complete collection of the people that submitted it and I won more models the catch to that is 
if you've already got a really big collection, there's a fair chance the models they're going to randomly send you are going to be stuff you already have. And there are people out there that have a collection of five or six hundred or more. So, yeah, it sounds like a neat idea, but it can also kind of backfire. Probably some of those people with the really big collections wouldn't bother, but maybe they will. It's, um, I can see where that would be unfair to some. It's a neat idea, maybe if they limited it, but I think that's why they go with creative stuff more than they do with content, you know, as far as the most models in this picture. It's usually more of a creative idea, and I think that's fair. It's, it can be a little challenging to come up with ideas, but they seem to do a fairly good job of it. As far as having 24 models and sending that to your folks, send a picture of that to your folks, that's a good idea if you have a smaller collection. I don't anymore. Now Chris McCain, the 9% off at Innova Toys is only good until October 31st. I suspected that. Thank you for clarifying that. So basically good till today. Hmm. <laughs> I have shared the wish list from Innova Toys with my family. They did not remove items from the wish list when they were purchased. So I have a couple of the same ones. So that is a drawback. You definitely want to try and get people to communicate with each other so that they don't do that. That can be unfortunate if you only want one and maybe some families might some family members might get disappointed if they find out you've already got the model. I understand that. Uh, it's not perfect, but yeah, it would be ideal if they would at least remove it. The only downside to that, and I kind of... Amazon does it, decent, does it decently, gives you decent options. The downside, though, is if you see stuff's been removed from your wish list and you know somebody's bought it, and it kind of spoils the surprise a little bit. Eh. There's no perfect solution, but I was trying. A comment from Sandy Court, which is a little off topic, but thought I'd share it anyway. I would like to see more architectural models from Microworld, especially the Sagrada family from in Barcelona, Spain. I've just finished the paper model and it was a fantastic build. And I remember Sandy sent me pictures of that paper model and it was a fantastic build and amazing. I wouldn't dare do anything like that. It seemed way over my head. But a nice architectural model. There certainly are people out there that are in the, the, into the architecture and it, I think a lot of people are constantly disappointed that Metal Earth doesn't do more in that area. But other manufacturers certainly do. And that's at least good. Microworld seems to do a lot though. Microworld's models can be a little iffy sometimes and frustrating to put together. Thanks everyone for sharing that. As far as this week's topic or question, something that popped into my head, does anybody out there make models as gifts for others, friends, family, whatever? And if so, how does that go down? Do you do it a lot? Have you done it before? Do you plan on doing it this year and never done it before? Share a little bit in the comments down below. I'm curious to see what your experience is. I'm pretty sure there are people that have done it. I have done it. I did make a lighthouse for my mom once because she's into lighthouses and a guitar for my stepdad because, you know, he was into guitars. And it was neat at the time. Not a whole lot came of it, but something that I made. It's always... I feel like that's something special and, and I love it when people feel that way as well. Not everybody does. But share your experience with do you make models for people as gifts. Share your experience in the comments down below and I'll read them next week. I'm going to leave it at that. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters, as always, for continuing to support this channel. Thank you everyone who comments and gives interaction. I appreciate that. And thank you for watching. As always, keep on keeping on.